What's happening, family, man? Appreciate y'all, you know, chilling with Cuddle. Back at it again. But, yeah, like I said, going to get right into it. Um, I think my dog Kyle posted, I want to say, what, probably like an hour ago or something like that. You know what I'm saying, bro? I'm happy for the kid, bro. You know, he handled that shit like a straight G. You know, everybody else with the acting a fool. Feel me? Look like him and Ray about to do something. Talking about some about Tom, I like that. Crazy. This is fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like this right here. Traveling the world, met somebody, and about to make content, bro. You can't hate. You feel me? You can't hate that. But nah, man, I got some things to review. But I don't know where I want to start. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. AMP, they did uh, upload that day. You know, my days. Chris been very consistent, bro. Get that man his credit, though. I ain't do guess the version because I ain't gonna watch that. But yeah. Then I wanna watch that. Right. Welcome to AMP Daycare. Today we get a chance to see if we can take care of some kids. Oh, no. Ah! No, 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 no! First of all, kind of same size as these kids. I want to get that out of the way. I'm pretty sure every content creator that said that shit. Sorry. Bigger than Phantom. the whole time. And we can't use profanity today. Because if you curse, the money you have goes in the Can we get an example of a curse? H E double hockey sticks. Yeah, H E double hockey sticks. Ooh. You can't say that. You can't say that. You can't, you can't say, say that. that. You can't say that. What's your favorite one? My favorite curse yeah. word? Yeah. Probably, uh, you know, like, uh, <laughs> darn it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Darn it. Darn it. Okay, okay. Oh. 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 Oh
I say what I say. I can't say it. <laughs> hey, what I say? What I say? I can't read. I ain't say it. Say it. Say it. Every, can you believe what that? I say? It. The D word. Ah! <laughs> he's got. He's got. He's got. All right, next another question. What's two times fifty-five plus eighteen and then divided by three? Oh. What is it? Wait. What? You know it? Yeah. Kendra, so the math. So what's the answer? Oh. Multiplication. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, wait, 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 I think that that's easy. You know it? What is it? What? No, that's like. What is it? Oh, that's oh. 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 He's smart. No, 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 you know, you know, you pass it to somebody or no? Wait, hold on, wait, 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 so you would say it on national television. What do you say? He said the N word twice. Hey, hey, get out of here! Hey, hey, hey! 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 Hey, that's crazy. I think I think a lot of people cuss and don't even realize that they cuss. No, no, she don't even know what I said. Oh, okay. What you what you say? Well, all I know is the bad words. No, no, no. Hey, hey, what do you say? No, what do you say though? How many how many states is in America? Uh, That's wrong. <laughs> That's wrong. That's wrong. It is at fifty. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm, I'm taking his food. You're taking I'm his food. You know who you messing with? You want phantom tax me? Yeah. What you going to tax you with? They said doing lunch. They said doing lunch. He is going to tax you. Y'all might not eat today. Oh. Yeah, I'm in. You're not eating. How am I not going to tax you? I'm good. you not eating. What? What you gonna take my food? Can I can I get a piece? Alright, man. Alright, man. Alright, man. No, you can get a slice. I slice. Hold on, hold on. How many? Hold on. How many spices am I getting? One. Oh, twelve. My boy. Thank you, my boy. You already know what's up. You already know what's up. I mean, kids ain't even that bad, so it should be fun. Wrong all day. I can get this number wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twelve. Just take your piece of chicken. Just what? I just, I just. Yo, yo, he said a bad word. He said a bad word. No, I didn't. Yo, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. I didn't say that. You don't even know what I said. You don't even know what I said. No, no. I said, what the freak? <laughs> get him, get him, go, 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 That's the word. That's <laughs> okay, okay, I'll pay, I'll pay, I'll pay. Get up! I'll pay. $1,500. $1,500, man. I don't know. Remember, 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 every money that go in there is yours. <laughs> every money that go in there is yours, guys. Okay? Well, she's like about to be a future accountant or something like that, the way she's talking. That's what's up. <laughs> I didn't even swear. I said, I said, butt ass. I wore the Mr. B shirt because I thought kids, like, they don't, kids don't, they don't kids care don't about Mr. B. Kid, they don't care about the hood and the house and that. The Duke Dennis, the Davis Dodge. I'm for sure. 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 Let's oh, kill these little niggas out here. I might try to make one fall. Uh, 
Hey. Who wants some snacks? You want some snacks? Yeah, let's Come get on, it. let's go, Jewel. 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 Let's go, J
Little badass. Yeah, hell yeah. I, I, no, 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 I, probably, I, I feel like this old girl from the basketball video. Like, this this got to be like some. I don't know. I, I'm judging. I'm judging. When you grow up, you're going to have to get an accountant and you're going to have to open up LLCs. I'd recommend you probably go with an S Corp initiative. You feel me? So you're going to pay yourself like you're an employee of your own business. You're gonna pay yourself $4,000 a month. So now instead of being taxed on an overall 500,000 you might've made that year, boom, now you're getting taxed on the 45,000 you made that year. That's cause- You could get a chain, and if you get like a diamond chain, like the amount of impact it's gonna have, the amount of motion, Cuban, the amount of motion you're gonna have when you walk into school or college. But if you get but if you get a mutual fund and you get a reasonable 7% return on your, on your- Agent, what the fuck? Even I'm, I'm look, I'm confused. Even money though, invested, okay. you can live you off. Think about the return of women that go message if you got a chain on. Like, come on. Yes. It's way more important, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Don't listen. To or this. or you could have, listen. or you could have your financial security. Yeah. Yeah. You got no women? No. You know who you're talking to about? <laughs> <laughs> Why you like this? Yeah. Why you like this as a person? Why you so? Why so? Why you so meany pants? Thank you. Come inside. So it's like, I go boom, 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 boom. Do it to the camera, do it to the camera. Do the, do the speed dance. Do the speed. Oh, 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 all right. Women is not important. That's 30. Not important, you know what I'm saying? Focus no one on part of it, but that's your education, the your health, protect care of your, your, your moms. And My word, you gonna get your heart going. I can't wait too. I can't wait till the day you get your heart going. You'll be crying. You're gonna be in your room. You're gonna lock, lock yourself in the room. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be crying. I just, we all gonna have to go through it. I went through it. He went through it. And you're gonna have to go through it too. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never are ready though. This hits you, man. It's a beautiful thing. I'm a wizard of Oz. You're a wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Really? Who? Me. Resident of Oz. This, this is becoming a thing. <laughs> this, this, this is becoming a thing. Oh, hell no. So you're a mathematician and a Wizard of Oz. The youth is cool. The youth is cool. How you doing? Good. Trying to run away from the guy. You're doing good? Why? Are you playing hide and seek or something? We're playing tag and I'm trying to put, I'm trying to get away from the guy. Okay. Mr. Who are you playing? Oh, you're playing tag with uh, the Mr. Beast employee. Yeah. Um, can I tell you something? Uh, he's a, he's like a, do you know what a scammer is? No. It's like a person that like, um, they're going to try and like trick you and he's going to try and like get money from you usually. So if you have money, make sure to keep it like in your pocket. I have it on my um. You have it. I have. My mom has it on my um agent. Okay, yeah. Just don't tell him about it, because if you see him, he can sometimes be like he can be very funny and stuff like that. So just like be careful and stuff, okay? Uh -huh. And uh, um, if you ever need some mutual funds, I know a financial advisor you can tap you in just like that. You feel me? I can flip. What's what's with agent in the in the in the financial advice? Huh? Because when, when a nigga ask him, he better be ready to tell me when I start popping. You feel me? For 300, yeah. make it 3,000. Okay. Got you? Yeah, hold that away. All right. So, twin? How much size you crushed today? Zero, bro. I don't fucking care. <laughs> what do you say? Fuck you. <laughs> Bitch. You heard that? You heard, ah! you heard that, right? You, even hear you heard that, right? Oh, you heard bro, that? You Did just you hear that? came out Did you, hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? He said a bad word, didn't he? What'd I say? B word. Oh! Hey, hey! Get him, hey! Tell him to pay up, tell him to pay up. Tell him to pay up. He said the B word! Pay up, go ahead, pay up. Uh, I got you. B word! That's the one! You ain't getting shit, fuck nigga. <laughs> fucking, fucking bitch. <laughs> Nobody around, fuck nigga. Look at him, look at him. Look at him. Ah! 
How are you going to enforce a rule, but you don't enforce it on the smallest nigga in the house? It's crazy. Respect and good behavior comes rewards. You know? So, look. Don't tell nobody, okay? Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. And, hey, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. The reason why you earned this is because you've been good. Now, look, if your mom asks, don't give it to her. Wanna know why? Because they're gonna take it and be like, yo, I'm gonna give it to you when, you, when it's ready. They're gonna spend it. You give your mom, yeah, I know, I, I know. You give your mom money, they're gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna hold it all for you, and then they're gonna spend it. Do not Nah, you can't. Nah, nah, can't nobody watch your videos. Nah, nah, none of the kids can watch your videos because they know that you be giving advice like this to the gents. Don't give your money to your mom because she gonna spend. Not even only that, nigga. You was. Your mom spent all my dad's money. No way. She do. What else? My my sister spends all her money with her friends. Uh huh. Oh. <coughs> Ain't no way. So what do you do with your money? I'm going to buy it with maybe some fruit snacks. Okay, I can see that. But, but, but if we have all the fruit snacks, you don't got to buy it because you got it for free. You know what I mean? For the free You feel me? So I feel like you don't even got to do all that. So next time, but you got to take that money, invest that money into Tesla. You know what I'm saying? Because Elon Musk is booming right now. So by the time you like 10, you're going to be good. You big yeah, with... You no, no, that's hers. It's hers. She been good. You haven't been good. What are you doing? Huh? Let's see. Let's see. Phantom tax. Did he just say phantom tax? Yeah. You just let. You just let just snatch your gummies come. I would have. Mm, I would have threw Jen in the pool. That's crazy. Listen, do y'all know what time it is? No! It's lunch time! Yeah! It's lunch time! Yeah! 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 What did you say? I said God did! You said a bad word! Wow! Second time! Yes, pay up then! Wait, 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 Oh! Go! So now, this is our canvas. This. So look, we're gonna play. One for you and one for me, right? All right, open this up, open this up. Okay? Okay, we need some mayo though. Hey, we don't got no mayo in it. Mayo right there. All right, we're gonna put some on mine though. Hey, go back with the mayo, bro. How old you is? Uh, nine. You nine? Yeah. All right, bitch. So I don't gotta take it easy. This is what we've been waiting for, right here. Some real content of the day. Come on. You a grown man? I just told you. Bro, I don't care, bro. You a grown man, bro. You a grown man, bro. Dude, he did the he did the you too small gesture. He did the, the small celebration, bro. See, you want to talk about well, what grade you now you finna get dunked on. You who? Oh, okay. One, 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 zero. We'll do chicken breast, ham. I say chicken breast. I say ham. Ham? You don't want to do no turkey? Yeah, ham? Like All right, so I how about like salami? Salami? Like okay, so look, yeah. we'll do ham for you and we'll do chicken breast for me, okay? okay? All right, let's do that. You're going to three, bro, so. What are you? Yeah, he done did it right. Oh my god. 
Exploding to the rim. Boom, now I get the cheese. <laughs> Let me the hey, he straight with NBA street. Man, that's crazy, dog. But nah, let's talk about how Chris is ridiculous just singing. Girl looking at him all confused and shit. What cheese, you know what I mean? I like double cheese. Double cheese? Damn. Why you always dissing him? No, I don't mean because I can be nice if you get asked me. Hmm. Uh, okay, hey, could you be a little more nice? Yeah. I bet. I bet. I bet. I bet. I bet. Easy, no <laughs> easy, bro. Like, check up, man. Blue, no, of course, one across. Blue, go every, go every, one across. Oh, all right, now I mean, you pretty much, you pretty much good, right? Like, just close it up, just close it up. You know what I'm saying? Nice, get my stool. All right, all right. <laughs> So kind yeah. of like we're the kids though. What you doing? Game! Smoking! Don't work! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Drop this trash ass off. This, this is the first bite. First day. Okay, yeah. First bite. At the same time. Okay, three, two, one. Not good. Why are you dancing? Good food. Okay. Stop it. Name your shit. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Take them cat. Hey, them hoes good, right? Them what? Oh. Yeah. Hoes good, right? Them cats. Uh, <laughs> hey, them hoes good, right? Them what? Oh. Yo. Come on. Hey, yo. Bro, I didn't even know. Get the money. Get the box. Get the box. Get the box. Hey, yo. 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 What? That little the little box braids, little girl in the box braid, girl, you 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 was bad. See that that little that's a free thing you made me. You watch anime? You don't watch anime? You don't watch anime? She does fire frogs. I think she probably thought you called her anime. Anime. I mean, she, I mean, that was her name. She could definitely play a character. Go Ari, go Ari, go Ari, go Ari. That's one thing about him. Go Ari, go Ari, go Ari, go Ari. Na 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 na. Let me get that money. Let me get that money. I don't know. High five. Oh. I'm sorry that I have to deal with you being a brat. You call me a brat? I'm just bored of that. 
me though when i have a kid bro my kid gonna have the freaking blast bro like my kids gonna have the best time in the world bro facts <laughs> <laughs> look at the door now look at the door now oh hey, hey, hey you want to mess with me I think he probably got one of these kids in trouble. I think Phantom got one of these kids in trouble, definitely. <laughs> No, hell no, motherfucker. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, brother. Hey, 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 wait, hold on, I can't swim. I'm gonna hurt it. All right, look, so the, the reader up today is gonna be Phantom. So, Phantom, go ahead and read to these kids. This book is called My Magical My Magical Dreams. So look, look, y'all ready for my story? Why do you no. be there? So we had a little white girl. Oh, oh. 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 no words. We're not talking about that. Oh. You wild again. <laughs> you wild again. You should just pay for that. Right? Yeah. yeah. What did yeah. they say? That's crazy that he said that. No, 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 <laughs> What's her name? What's her, what's her name? Give me a name. Maya. Maya. So Maya. she has a real good name. She's a damn friend named Maya. And she likes trees. Lots of trees. You know what I mean? Lots of trees. Wow. And then one day, she came home to a zoo with a notebook. And a rabbit who reads books about Maya. That's you! Wow! We don't know who that is. Oh. <laughs> and then they saw more animals with mouths. Wow. Oh. That's Kai. That's Kai. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, this is not me, dog. <laughs> this right here is all of us. No, that's Kai. <laughs> Who's the ISO speed? <laughs> The monkey? <laughs> hey, yo, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, y'all see? You see, y'all trying to get these jits in trouble, all right? And then now you trying to get this. See? This. <laughs> you ain't a goddamn minute. That was close. Cool. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is <laughs> Now, Davis be wild. And this is me. This is me. Yo, and Maya was mad, so she was like, yo, let me get No, that's not what. So she got her some little dreams and stuff like that. 
And then they dance because she's so lit, so she's seeing people dance. She's seeing makeup. What? That was a great. And then they came. That was a great story. Yeah. 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 The last four pages were they did it because they were so good. <laughs> So we, so we got Mr. Duke reading next. It's time everybody yeah. pay attention. Yeah, it's called it's called My Magical Dreams. Mm. Oh, that's my magical food. Oh, when these kids go home. No! Oh, God, that's, so fun. that's a movie, bro. That's real. Hey, hey. All right, so boom. It's roasting time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, good. I don't care because they smell like they came from the car. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Did you say gat to a 16 year old? Whoa! Oh. Gat! She's 16! <laughs> okay, first of all, I'm not even. I'm not even gonna say it. But why was she even in the in the video in the first place? That was my issue. I'm like, why is she in the in in the in the video in the first place? Let me get out of there, cause you know, I mean, it was funny. Like I said, it was funny. But hey, that's crazy. Just say, yeah, that's I show speed. Caught his ass right in the middle of that shit. <clears throat> what else? I was looking at earlier. I wasn't at all. <laughs> A couple things I'm just thinking of. Jesus. A fried chicken for 30 days. Sad. But this shit y'all doing, doing. I mean, it's not for view, but I mean, yeah, it is for view. But still, like, the stuff y'all be doing. Y'all, I hope. Maybe the victory. Looks like I'm on, I'm on your Y'all, I hope I'm able to make it. Looks like I'm on, I'm on your guys right now, bro. Yo, I'm, I'm so tired of you. So I'm so tired of you. There's no way. Yo! Oh, what's good, everybody? Now, y'all already know I am known for eating McDonald's for 30 days. My previous video. This food don't really got no nutritional value. And... That wasn't the most appetizing thing. But for this video here, y'all, we're gonna do something a little bit more different, all right? I am going to be eating fried chicken. Kentucky fried chicken. We're gonna go multiple chain restaurants. My mom gonna cook it. I'm gonna cook it. Popeyes, Razor Canes. Help me out, man. KFC, help me out, man. Help me out. Uh, Chick-fil-A? Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Cash stations out here selling the best out here. But this video is gonna be different, y'all, because this right here, I'm gonna be measuring my body fat so for day one today y'all we're going to see how much i weigh and what's my body fat yeah this is what i look like right now y'all you know looking pretty lean we all know we get done eating that fried chicken bro just measure your body fat like this yeah what? Like yeah i didn't know they did this accurate like this Dang. and it's free yeah for the first time and then after that you buy something or like, any food back there. Oh man, I always buy this. Nah. What we get, boss? Got your body fat percentage down there. Okay, man. Well, this is 10.4 right there. 10.4. Damn, man. I thought I was leaner than that. The next thing, y'all, we about to test my glucose level. If 
before we eat some fried chicken and see how much it spiked at the eating Popeyes. Y'all already know what time it is. Today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rate. Every ticket is even. All right, y'all. So we are right in front of Popeyes and Lafayette. Check it out, man. Look at the view right here. We're about to test my glucose level because. Obviously, when you eat fried food, your, your glucose level it spikes up. Glucose. That's not like ignorant fat. That's stubborn <laughs> fat. You got yourself special to get rid of it. Now, That's funny. How people do this? You grab the wrong thing? Nah, bro. This is, this is how it goes. Bro, it's a whole... It's a map, man. Bro, that's a needle. Taking medicine is, is difficult. Man, get that visual, man. Look at that. That's a needle, bro. All right, kids, I know y'all. We eating fried chicken once a day. Or just, just medical procedures. Sorry, you know, for those who are correction. All right, it'd be a big bit every time. Here we go. Make sure y'all like the video. You see how long he's taking that? <laughs> and subscribe. Do it for y'all, man. Man, well, I'm more about the look. Spill blood for y'all, man. You feel it? There we go. I don't think that's enough. That's not enough blood, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> can y'all even see that? Boom. Yeah, that's enough. My glucose level right now is 94. Okay. So we about to eat some Popeyes, grub up, and we'll see how it going to uh, spike with uh, alcohol. Yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit of blood work on this one. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a little bit of blood work on this one. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a little bit of blood work on this one. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a little bit of blood work on this one. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a little bit of blood work on this one. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a little bit of blood work on this one. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm excited for this challenge. <laughs> what, is, is, what you missing? Some watermelon? <laughs> this is it's not good. This, this is the most cool shit you could possibly do. That's <laughs> funny as fuck. This is my, this is probably my favorite challenge I'm gonna do. You like fried chicken that much? Oh, I man. love fried. Don't get it twisted. But every day for thirty days, they got so much grease on the mouth. I'm using that thing as lotion. <laughs> Wait, it was good though. Yeah, There's a master over here, man. We might have that much of fines after this month, huh? After this month. <laughs> yeah, you know Cass got money now. A lot of chicken left on that. We might have that much of fines after this month, huh? After this month. But Florida boys, man. Maybe we don't leave shit on the phone. Pause. Yeah, pause. That shit sounded crazy, bro. What? But well, leaders, y'all, at this right here, I'm going to show y'all how to lose it and what I eat every single day. That's gonna be interesting. So I gotta hit that like button. We 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 aiming for 50, 000, 55,000 likes for that video. The glucose uh was ninety four before we ate Popeyes. Damn, that was that was that was strong. You calculating? Choo! Choo! That chicken boy. Y'all, chicken I boy. Hope I'm able to make thirty days. We got this gas station out here in Louisiana. They got this sale going on right here. It's about 10 30 in the morning, too. <laughs> oh, God. This is wrong. I don't know if y'all ever had gas station chicken and Christian Crunch. Man, when they're dip. <sighs> Good morning, y'all. Today is the third day. Get a little bloatness, you know, not too much. I actually been hooping too, but just show y'all, look at my face. I'm starting to get bad pimples uh, on the third day, but it's kind of like what we expected. Y'all remember on the McDonald's diet? That happened the first week, but uh, this right here happened more quickly. I'm getting more, uh, this right here, the signs of uh, having bad diet and eating bad when you get it around like your uh, eyebrows. This right here is a big one. Damn, like a crater, man. Oh. Right, took a little nap, went to the basketball practice, shot the be honest. You already know, we got some raisin canes. Last year in Louisiana, we got, I already started grubbing it. <laughs> we got done basketball practice. Mm. Got three piece. I know what I love about the challenge right here. I'm going to see how my body react to like just greasy foods because my regular diet, which I'm going to show right to the video, I gotta show how much I gain, show how much I'm going to lose it. I'm going to show y'all exactly what I eat in a full day. And I mean, I, like, just an example, I start out with sardines and the rest of the day is like fruit smoothies, you know, sometimes a burger, we got chicken. Yeah. It's a lot of lean food. 
This right here is still high protein, but it's greasy. I mean, as I can tell with that crater up there, my body is not taking it well. Left the fries. Well, I feel like he spit on me. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this right here is still high protein, but it's greasy. I mean, as I can tell with that crater up there, See, my body is not taking it well. Left the fries, them chicken. Good! Chicken, 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 chicken. Yeah, all right. We in Hooters, man. It's just something about wings out here, all right? Wings in the beginning. Hooters is like the best wings out here. Look at this. 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 Look about the presentation, you know? Mm. Chicken and the soup and tomato and the same thing. So today we got some fried chicken and gravy. Yeah, this is the gravy. Excuse the honey. Gotta put the honey with the coffee every single day. It's my thing. Oh, uh, y'all hear that, Al Green? So far, I've been loving this challenge right here, y'all. Honestly, I've been feeling like I'm getting a better pump with the grease. I fucking love Al Green. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that. I mean, he a pastor, but still, like, nigga, I grew up on Al Green. I love Al Green, man. Remind my granddad to eat him. I don't know the grease happening, you know, with the lube and the bones. I don't know. You know, but I'm hitting the waist harder. I taste it. It's a gravy. That, that look good. That look good, boy. God, look oh, good. Man, I need some words to go talk to this damn chef. All right, this is what we're eating today, ladies and gentlemen. Handcrafted yeah. chicken tenders. Yeah, we got some red beans and rice here too, y'all. Uh, about to eat this right here while I'm reviewing some videos. Oh, we upload it. Grind, never stop, boys. This is delicious. Let me show you what we got right here. All y'all, right, day seven. Tomorrow I got a big game, 2v2 tournament, HOH. But I got to stick to my word. I am tired. I am fatigued. Just got done training. It's about... 10 30 around that time right there so yeah we got some fried chicken oh, boy. and we got some barbecue sauce um i was supposed to test my glucose level after eating these barbecue homemade wings what i made don't they look delicious oh my god fried give y'all an update so my face cleared up a little bit but i still got a little bit of acne on the top right corner if y'all do y'all research i know that come from bad dieting um i'm exhausted y'all Tomorrow I got a big game. I've been practicing hard for the last two weeks, you know. So I think I've been burning calories off from the intense practice I've been doing. But look at this gut right here, y'all. This is before I eat. I haven't been working out the last few days. Just starting to have a nice touch of around the rim. This right here helps my leg because when I get on court sometimes, y'all, I got like a little small, minor, like uh, the knee problems. This right here always helps me out. You know, almost, I mean, this is basically what LeBron James do, what a lot of athletes do uh, after the full game. So this right here really helps. Shout out to Jazz. This is right here, one of the gives in the two hype video. My stomach have not ate yet. I have been getting the dad by it. <laughs> you know, this is how my body look. This is flexing. This is not flexing. Honestly, I haven't been seeing any difference, you know, on the court with my stamina. I'm so exhausted, y'all. I'm gonna have like a 12 hour nap. Actually, nap, a 12 hour hibernation. I've been practicing a lot for the mid range, the post, and driving to the basket while changing my body diet. And people are not gonna know. Well, I don't think you're gonna alter my performance. This is so good, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. All right, yo, so today we're eating Popeye's again. We got three piece and we got some fries. I love it fried. It wasn't about the challenge right here, y'all. It doesn't matter how much chicken you eat. It's like, it's, you can never get tired of it. You know, I, I'm, I'm not saying it because I'm black, but I'm not tired of chicken yet. I feel like it's, it's getting better and better. Hey, boy. Got some spicy Korean fried chicken with jalapeno. Good morning. Ooh. It ain't Sunday, so we having Chick Fil A. Hi, right, y'all. So I'm about to hit the shower, and I just remember to give y'all an update uh, where my body at. Sorry, y'all. Face mask on. This is the face mask I use right here. I know y'all been having questions. Yes, y'all. I do take care of my skin. This is how my body look without flexing at all. This is how I look flexing. Y'all, let me know. Y'all think I got bigger? I don't know. 
But I tell you what's getting bigger. Acne. Acne is everywhere, like on my back. Camera can't really show it. Like, especially my traps area. Jeez, I've been popping them like th random throughout the days. Almost like the grease trying to <laughs> escape my body through pimples. So I'm sleeping a little irregular. I wake up middle night and I just uh, sometimes I I find myself like wanting to go use the bathroom uh, more often. Uh, probably have like three times, but it, it ain't nothing too big of a change. Um, yeah, smart. Eat some more chicken. All right, y'all, don't kill me. <laughs> Do not kill me in the comments. It's just something about this combination right here, y'all. All right, so uh, cook today. Uh, got some asparagus. I don't know why, why the combination is so good, y'all. We got some fried chicken with barbecue sauce, all right? I fried it up with my famous Hennessy barbecue sauce on. It's the weekend, tomorrow, Easter. Uh, got some mashed potatoes. And we also got some asparagus in a steak. Y'all ain't going to kill me about this. Leave a comment if y'all want something, man. You know, be like, drop a comment and say, Cat, give me something. All right, give me some, but I had to do it, y'all. It just is something about the combination, but I don't know what it is. Fried chicken just goes so good with watermelon, Mike. You're a victim. Oh, mm. You know, I'm talking about the seedless watermelon, and I know it's not natural because, bro, there should be no fruit. What the fuck are you doing? Hey, hey, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't even watch it. Hey, get off. Get, get, hey, hey, stop it. Stop, don't play with me. Twenty something, y'all. I'm tired of chicken. I don't want to eat this no more. I don't like on day twenty something. I hope mood's been up and down. Been working out. Don't feel the same. I don't know. I haven't been in the mood to go get a haircut, y'all. <laughs> it's like eleven o'clock. Just woke up. Slept for almost like ten hours. Why do it taste so good? This should not be this delicious. <laughs> Damn. I'm eating fried chicken for breakfast. Yeah, yeah. I, I I couldn't finish this. This right here was just way too greasy. It's probably the greasiest chicken I've ever ate. Like, like this was, I ate two wings on it. I, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Just, yo, I just woke up. My stomach feels like, yeah, I got diarrhea. That chicken was bad. Just worse than McDonald's challenge. Today we got some barbecue, fried chicken wings, and we got some lemon pepper. Uh, today been a long day for me, y'all. I, uh, I never seen red lemon pepper wings. What's crazy is y'all through this video right here, I actually just completed a 50 hour massive cheat day. All these videos in one time. This month right here has been crazy. I popped like, how many people does I think I popped like two of them. I think I need a tone off on the <laughs> video for like a good, I was in like four months. I feel like I'm kind of pushing my body, y'all. You know, because as I'm getting older, it means just venting. As I'm getting older, and like I'm just like, bro, like now I get injured on a basketball court. I used to be able to heal up to my within like two or three days, right? And that's without the good diet I have now. Before these type of videos start being on the channel, and like I will like recover so fast, you know. And it's like now it's just because of age and just the wear and tear in the body, and I, I'm scared of getting injured while having this bad diet, you know? What if I'm not able to come back from the injury, you know? With eight challenges, I'm gonna to tone all's right here back down. I don't know how much body fat I have gained, probably gained good significant uh, compared to what I had, which would be like 10 points on or close to 11. But, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, especially when I get done working out, you know, I got the pump. So the pump still look good in the gym, no cap. I wore an all white muscle tee today. And I started sweat and I seen the gut. You know, starting to evolve. I'm like, oh, I should have had a blank tank top. You know what I mean? There you go. Thank you so much, sir. My boy brought the fried chicken to the gym for me. Look, like I'm, I'm on your diet right now, bro. <laughs> it's good. But we just got done cooking up a two hype video. Uh, it's on the channel. It should be coming out soon. It, it can probably come before this right here. But ironically, chicken and waffle. So this actually count. Fried chicken. <sighs> Video challenge should be done within a week or two. I haven't cut out the footages. I feel a, the target. I feel tired. I feel like I don't want to move. I know my glucose levels is high. Right to eat this greasy food. All right, y'all. So we out here in Memphis. And we at Gus Wears famous hot and spicy fried chicken. See this right here is the world's best fried chicken. 
I wonder if he had Maryland's fried chicken. Maryland fried. You feel what I'm saying? Maryland fried chicken is fried down here in Florida. I'm just saying. Damn. Hey, Friday's in, man. It's delicious. You haven't ate that Gus, you haven't ate the fried chicken. That's a fact. This is the best chicken I ever tasted in my life. Where the fuck is good? This is flexing. This is not flexing. This is not good. Ironically, y'all know I'm from Louisiana, right? They have this place right here by the name of Louisiana chicken. Fried Chicken. So we about to go see. I'm the perfect person to taste test this, right? To see if this place right here actually tastes like Louisiana. All right, y'all. So I might have to take that the trash talk because oh my gosh this smells delicious we got the hot sauce the fries looking good oh my mm. that's the one y'all did that again y'all i should have did my glucose levels today i feel the air to my breathe y'all i feel like i got like charizard breath man so like i got like a fireball like in the center of my chest right now air to my breathe Ooh, good morning, y'all. This is what we got for the morning. Chick-fil-A, chicken, egg, and cheese. I am tired of chicken, y'all. Chicken. Make me feel like I'm locked out of heaven. For so long. Oh, oh. All right, y'all. So we just came out of Ralph's. We got full piece special. We got a wing fry. We got a breast and a thigh. I'm going to eat it when I get back to the crib. God damn it, I dropped it. Hi y'all, so got a little intervention with y'all. This is what I'm drinking on. I'm drinking on some sparkling Perrier water. This is my favorite water in there, y'all. Is this right here? And it was liquid death, but I had a fan, aka a supporter, hit me up on Twitter. He's like, Cash, bro, you need to look up uh the meaning behind liquid death and all right here. And I was like, bro, I'm not drinking this no more. And I flipped it back to him. I said, But did you do your research on monster? I can't talk about that YouTube video. Come with the video here, get flagged down. All right, here, y'all know, you know, we don't got freedom of speech like that no more. But, um, y'all see what I said. The fried chicken update just got here from Ralph's, put some hot sauce on it. Y'all can see right here. This video here, probably the last video y'all gonna see with me in this game room right here. I am officially moving to a house out here in California. I've been living inside of an apartment here, and I just outgrown it. Just, just I got to tell me the shoe there where clothes. So, you know, company sent me and things like that in that nature. So I'm actually going to move and um, y'all going to see more vlogs. Like I, I seen y'all starting to like them uh, daily vlogs I was doing, you know, like the behind the scenes type of vlogs put on the second channel, but you're going to check it out. Y'all love those. I love it, you know, because uh, uh, for those videos, I'm kind of like showing y'all like how a YouTuber be a YouTuber, you know, because you never know who you inspire, man. So these guys right here from uh, Lafayette who actually uh, one time I was out. And these dude came and asked me, Cash, man, we've been uploading, bro, like, with some big tips and things like in that nature. And it's this group of like six or eight people who react to videos. And I told him, bro, you, they keep on uploading, bro. Find your niche. You know what I mean? Like, wherever people are going to like, they keep on doing more of that. And these people took off, man. I'm talking about these people are consistent as hell. It's about two or three videos a day reacting. And they are doing a, a crazy good job on YouTube, man. I tell you right now, man, I am tired. I'm eating this fried chicken. Uh, I feel like I lost my abs. This right here is me flexing, but I feel like I have lost my, I know my body fat has went up. Arms still look good, but I mean, it's just like, my arms look good at the pump. I'm I'm tired of y'all. I'm ready to get back. <laughs> Lean. More healthier. You know what this is crazy though? I'm actually lifting here. That chicken don't look good. I'm gonna just say that. That chicken don't here, look good. I'm actually lifting more weight. Crazy. Good morning. Oh, 50 push ups. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This right here will be the breakfast we eat today. Uh, and as soon as I got done eating my breakfast, y'all, the chicken, egg, and sausage bread from Chick fil A, I took a nap. And it ended up being a three hour nap. I am tired of the side quest, y'all. Even though we eat chicken every single day, we still need to get the protein in there. What is it? Not bad at all. Mm. It's 
fuck it. All right, y'all. So we just came from Shake Shack. And uh, yeah, I stay paranormal. Like, even in parking lots. And I gotta say, on every fried chicken tender, fried whatever, to say that Shake Shack burgers are so good, they nuggets taste like ass. All right, what's good, y'all? So we almost done with this video. We got less than a week left. Just moved to a new crib. And, uh, I got no power. Yeah, I'm, I'm so tired of this fried chicken stuff, y'all. I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like I told y'all, this is the best chicken I have ever ate so far, which is from Louisiana. Fried chicken. So we about to go in here and get a, a big 12 piece. Yeah. Here we go again, y'all. Louisiana fried chicken. I actually took that lady $20 when I got back in the car. She was uh, nice. And just, I think it was the same lady from last time, right? Oh, God. They just know Louisiana fried chicken. They got to have someone who grew up in Louisiana and passed on the recipe out here. I, man, this is... Look at the crust, man. Just look at the crust, y'all. Oh, that's a good crunch. Well, look, look, look. Uh, lemon pepper, watching the basketball game. I don't know when the video will be uploaded, but yeah. It's halftime Lakers. Lemon pepper fried chicken. Hot got blue on it. Is that a black paper? Like superstition? The blue one if it's hot. I mean, everybody blows some shit if it's hot. It's hot, nigga. It's, I mean, it's not. This chicken is delicious. Yo, this was delicious. Oh my God. I only ate one chicken tender. And um, I got mild. And you know, when you start, you know, sniffing your sauce, so that's how you know that season is good. You feel me? I don't know what they're pulling that battery on. But man, man, I got to show y'all. I, I don't think I got the real demonstration for y'all. I'm going to come and show y'all one of the things like eating a car. Get this right, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look, look, look. Oh my God! Today a sad day, y'all. My barber, he's moving on. <sighs> this will be my last cut from him right here. Man, I'd say. Oh. Listen, bro, I thought he was going to be in good hands. No matter where he man. goes, I'm going to look after him. I told him. Totally. It's hurting my heart right here, man. If you stab me, then whoever I send you to, you gotta stab them. You know, you can't be saying that. I, I wouldn't send you to the wrong place. I wouldn't leave. Max, you. man, but you know, like, oh, we got so much history, you know? I mean, Another day, another chicken. You got lemon pepper chicken. I'm tired of it, baby. But you can never get tired of chicken. I don't know how to phrase it. Like, you just got a good, it's just irresistible, bro. Damn, shit just good. Why do fried chicken taste so good, bro? Hey, right, y'all. So we got a uh, lollipop chicken right here. First time tasting it. I thought the nigga was only supposed to do 30 days. Damn. All right, y'all. So finally, I am done with this damn chicken diet. I'm exhausted from it. I'm getting sleep insomnia. My face, this is the worst my face has looked. Oh my God, just pimpled out, bro. Uh, getting dark spots, I'm getting random anger on hair. So I'm, I'm, I'm tired of this crease right here, man. It was a delicious challenge. Damn. Yeah, yeah. this is me flexing. Jay, you I lost weight? You lost weight. Do you believe? That's crazy. You lost weight. So, um, what is it? I weigh 109 pounds, body fat mass, or it's 15. That's right, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my body fat did go up, but I lost weight. I said 15 too, remember? Yeah. I gotta show y'all, so. I don't know how I lost weight, man. I got the cut and everything, man. Look at this, your abs, though. Some machine gotta be broken. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying y'all broken. Or it could be the first one. This, this no way. I don't believe this. Leave that one in the comments how y'all feel about it. Uh, wow. Yeah. I just want to give a big shout out to Nick for actually letting us come in here and film. And they let me do it for free. 
big shout out to them because uh yeah it was gonna be a hundred dollars they say if you just give a shout out you know cash you know we got you thank you i need that even though i've been working out four days a week i lost muscle but i gained fat fat weighs less than muscle so that's the reason why i lost weight a lot of y'all probably got bodies like this or even bigger or more body fat and number of mindset y'all and i'm gonna show y'all within the next video challenge hope y'all enjoy the video we out here <laughs> hit the like button subscribe do that tyreek hill fastest athlete versus fastest fish what black tip h We gotta bring him in. There he is. He's jumping. He's jumping again. We gotta see him fish on, baby. Woo! I didn't watch this. Before. We're here today with Tyreek Hill from the Miami Dolphins, one of the fastest athletes in the world. We're gonna do fastest athlete versus fastest fish. Let's go. Let's go. These dogs are pristine. Oh, look at you. You don't know how pristine you are. Would you bait the minnow the same way? The same, like through his nose? So these ones we do? Little fella is gone. Do you want to grab me? You want to grab me a bait? Grab, hey, Which make one it you a want? really perfect bait, bro. Pristine. Just bring one bait. Just one bait. Eric, got a sinker? Eight ounce, yeah. Always bring the net. Yep. Professional. We've been doing wrong all, all along. Look at that. Look at that. Professional. Can you grab the bait like this? Squeeze them. See the peck pin right here? Yeah. See, it's called a belly hook bait. So you just hook like this, go gently, twist the hook. No, he don't like, like that. that. He didn't take that too kind. No, but that makes him swim down. So we're using a Pen Fathom 2. And that's a really great reel for fast fish because it's got a very high gear ratio. I think it gets 50 inches per crank. We got Pen Carnage rods, which are actually really awesome rods. Oh, girl, 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 fish on, 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 came off, man. There's nothing off. There's nothing off. Look at that. Go down, Josh. Now he's gone. He's oh. off. Good effort. He's off. Can I feel it, Bo? Uh oh. No. I feel it. So he was never. Oh, man, Josh won it, bro. 0 for 1. Could have been. We're 0 for 1. <laughs> When one of, these, one of these rods get hit, uh -huh. just re keep it in the rod holder and just reel until okay. the line, until it's tight, and then pull it up. And the most important thing with fishing, especially with these fast fish, is keeping the line tight. This line stretches, okay? So as long as this line's stretching and this bend in the rod, the line's tight. All right, all right. We really ain't want to touch nothing, though. Like, this yo, we ain't want to touch it. No, That's no, why, you're like, fine, you're fine. Like, we're going to catch fish, me? bro. It's going to be a good day. That's why me and Swerve were, like, standing back. Everybody <laughs> looking at us. We ain't, I ain't want to touch nothing. Yeah, right, that, that, that's why I really just looked at the pole oh, for real. Yeah. But now I know. If it bend, grab it. Now we know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm finally understanding this uh bait. See, Lando, that's, a, that's a pristine, bro. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. He cover his eyes so he doesn't freak out. Right here. Gently. Boom. Mm. Uh. Look at him go. Six down, 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 Cause that's what keeps the pressure on the line. All right, bet. Okay. Yeah, you gotta shut up. Oh, I'm used to fishing by myself. That's hunch. That's hunch. Hey, I called it a sailfish, bro. That's hunch. Hey, bro. Did you hey, yo, yo. Yeah, I did. You're over two, bro. That's fine. That's fine. So bite is good. Our baits are good, and uh, we're on our first drift. So this is gonna this is gonna be really, really, really good. We like catching. Fishing's fun, but catching's funner. Yeah.
Oh, 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 oh. Tune on, tune on, tune on. Tune on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. baby. Reel it in, baby. Tune on. I'll let him slide with Thunder. I'll let him slide. Hey, hold on. Don't reel when he's running. Don't reel when he's running. It's a big tuner, bro. Bro, when do I reel? He's just running. Dude, dude, he's scoring the reel. Here, reel, 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 reel. He might just broke you off. Uh-uh, he's still on there. He's still on there. Yeah. Is it still pulling hard? It's still pulling hard. Nice. Keep going, bro. Keep going. Yeah, we're, we're gonna catch this guy. This is gonna be a really, dude. This is your dinner, bro. Like, you don't understand how good this fish is. That's what I want. Yeah, this is your dinner, bro. Uh, that's if we ever get him in. You just gotta be faster than him, bro. He told me to be patient. You gotta be patient and fast. This is the most explosive athlete in the world. Bro, this dude is out there. Right? Yeah, bro. He took a lot of life. It's a big fish, bro. It's a real fish, bro. He went to the shore, didn't he? In the he went. He went to the mock. Okay, pull, 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 pull up. Pull it down. Now there's gonna be a sinker. I'm gonna have to pull the sinker off. Okay. So, well, I'm gonna pull the sinker off. I'm gonna get up. Nice, nice and good. Yep. Yep. Listen, yeah. Doing good. Cheetah's gonna win He's got this the confidence. thing. Confidence. It's building. It's building. I love it. That's hey, all I need. Go, 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 go. This is one of the fastest fish, bro. We gotta get a tuna, sailfish, and hopefully a wild. We've already hooked a few of them. If we can get all three of those, bro, you've caught the three fastest fish in the ocean. Let's go. Okay, now real, 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 real. Same technique. Yep. Oh, there he is. Oh, really nice, bro. Really nice. Oh, he's running. Beautiful. Way to go. With no, with no glove. That fish took so long to get up here. Why? Size of it. That's the biggest fish you've ever caught. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my. Yeah. Oh, you hold it. Look, look at. See these fins right here. That's how he steers. That is a beautiful ass fish, bro. Look at the skin on that hole. Like in the upper light, then it'll like some kind of like weird coral looking little zebra. Not zebra, but like cheetah weird pattern. Little panther weird pattern. Yeah. Like, like an airplane, bro. Fuck. Like an airplane. Look at that. That's the biggest fish? Bro, this is the biggest fish I ever caught in my life, bro. Right this here. is just the beginning. I just want to say thank you so much for just serving me. And just allowing me to eat you today. Give me a kiss. All right. Yum. Oh, you may snap my guy. I don't kiss fish either, bro. You don't need to All right. do that. So thank you so much. We're not skunked. We've lost, we lost three really nice fish, but we're gonna make a comeback. We're gonna go back, start another drift. We're gonna put the kites out. We got beautiful wind now. We're gonna put the flat lines out. We're gonna have a nice spread. We're gonna slay. It's, yeah, it's in the air. This is ridiculous. So where the bait? Where the bait at? Oh, you're gonna see. It, it wasn't before. Fish on! Fish on! Fish on! Fish on! Fish on! Fish on! Fish on. Fish on. I know what he's doing, but he really yeah, he, 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 go. he got it. You got it. The top. You get two cranks on the way down. You're good. Then you just nice and slow. Yeah, he just. I don't see how y'all seen him, bro. Hey, he just took some of the line from me. Come on, baby. Come on, fourth and four, Reek. Fourth and four. Follow you. Yeah, follow me. Yep, real, real. Keep the line tight. Perfect. I'm gonna bring this over top of you. Oh, dude, that's a nice fish, bro. Bro, this is <laughs> running, dude. He's running. Bro, it's like the second time he done did this, bro. Bro, still, bro. All that running right there, dude. All that work taken away. Come on. Come on. I'm not gonna lose. I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm 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 ordering wings, bro. This damn Ah this 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 motherfucking boy. Hold on, hold on. Cause I don't wanna drive. I don't wanna drive. He's sleeping, this dude bro. Off, huh? You just set up his alarm clock. Come on, man. Wait, you caught a shark? Hold on. Hate this fish, bro. I need, I, I, hey, I need some of that back, bit boy. Uh huh. I need some of that back, bit boy. They call me the nature boy. Huh? <laughs> ah. You are, man. Big boy, come to daddy. Come to Poppy Cheetah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, it, it, it's a shark, but it's so rare to hook sharks out here. Here we uh -uh. Stop, 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 stop. Wow. Stop. Strong boy, whatever this is, it's strong. It's a strong fish. Stop. Stop. Hold on, 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 h
man, these pen rods are tough, man. <laughs> you know, the strongest rod is, bro. We're all pulling on it. It's not breaking. It's crazy. Ready? Grab that. I got a little bit more stamina left. Here, grab, grab, grab the rod. I got a little bit more left. He's coming up. You see, he's coming up. He's, he's tired. Ready? Here we go. This is it, bro. We got him. We got him. He's ours. He's ours, bro. Real. Boom. Okay. Fine. Real. I see him. 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 We almost got him. We almost got him. Real. Real. Go down. Go down. Real up. Real up. Oh, shit. Dude, he's knocking you out right now, bro. He's right here. He's right here. He's right here. He's right here. Oh, It's a dusky. It's a dusky, bro. Oh. Oh, boy. Drew's going in the water. Drew's going. No, no. No, no. Wait, Davis. Come here. Come here. He's going in. He went in the water. Okay. Oh my, this is, I do not recommend this, Drew. This is a very dangerous. Bring him up, bring him up. Bring him up. Dude, what are you talking about, bro? He's trying to get away from you. He's so tired. Don't get a picture here. Here. Tyree, you want to jump in with him? No. No? There you go. All right. Oh, oh he's strong. Good, good job. job. Good job. Hey, you know what? He got released. He's totally fine. Very, very strong. We weren't targeting sharks, right, we're we targeting know. sailfish, and he ate the bait. It happens, but that shark is going to be totally fine, and Tyreek is a beast! Come on, man. Well done. Hey, that was sweet right there. That I was, right? Hit somewhat. Hey, a shark strong? That's ridiculous. Yeah, sharks are very strong. And I learned, do not fight pressure with pressure. It's all yeah. about technique. It's all about technique. Yeah. Hey, you can't help yourself, can you? You know what, Josh? You I love the thrill of it. Once you do it once, just like I might get bit right now. This could be a lot of fun. It's just exciting. <laughs> it's just, you know, I'm more concerned about a bigger shark coming. No, you're fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> you're crazy. You who hops in the, in the ocean with a shark? No, uh, I'm taking a to, bite out of him. Yes, or me. Because you know that. Night. It was, it was yeah, fun. Yeah, I, had I, I had it on my foot. Hey, 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 Drew, 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 I just want to ask. You have good life insurance? Yes. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it, 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 Keep going! Come on! Keep going! Come on! Get the video, Cal! Give it! Cal, this is it. it! This is it! This is what we wanted! The fastest fish nice in the shot. ocean! Nice the shot. fastest athlete in the world! We gotta bring him in! There he is! He's jumping! He's jumping again! We got a sailfish on, baby! Woo! Wow, dude! That's kind of, we don't quit! We don't quit! We don't quit! We, don't quit. we lost a sailfish earlier! The highest jumping right. sailfish I've ever seen in my life! It literally came 10 feet of the water, spit the hook! This one we got! And you know the best part is? There might be other sailfish with them! So Davis was reeling the bait up, and he just came up and piped it. Uh, unbelievable, bro. Look at this tail. Just keep it lined tight, all right? I got you, baby. Bro, that was sweet. That's probably the best thing I've ever seen right there. I, wild fishing right there. <laughs> so much excitement. You know? Whoa! Oh! 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 Oh, this guy. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Here, stop, stop. Oh, oh there you go. Hey, take it slow. Nice. Take it slow. Nice slow. Yeah. Real, 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 real. You just don't want any slack. There you go. Look, he's tailing. He's tailing. He's tailing. Yeah. My hand's starting to cramp a little bit. It's okay. Really You're not going to give up. You're not going to give up on me. Oh, yes. Oh. 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 That's sweet. Oh. Oh, that was good talk. Yes. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Again. Again. Fastest uh -oh. fish in the ocean, baby. Uh -oh. Come on, buddy. How cool is that, man? This is what it's all about right here. Dude, this is a fast reel, bro. Everything about this right now is fast. I'm gonna bring him home right here. I'm gonna bring him home for you, Drew. You gonna dive in with him? A sailfish has been clocked. He's fighting back. At over 60 miles an hour. Wow. And when you think about how hard it is to swim fast in the water, I don't know how fast you guys can swim, but I mean, what's the fastest human can swim? Seven miles an hour? I mean, this thing would just keep going around here like it was the speed of light. They're really, really fast. And Tyreek is the fastest athlete. Easy. Easy? Easy. I'm letting you do the Dude, work. The technique that you have learned today is incredible, bro. You're like like a master angler now, bro. Come on now. You got to talk me some. Here we go. Come back this way. Come back this way. You're going to jump. There he is. Woo! <laughs> technique is amazing. Watch that spool. Make sure you're not you're not losing line when you pull back. Losing line. Wow. You done, buddy? Or are you going to keep going? You're going to keep going? Turn. Turn. Oh. Nice. There we go. He turned. Sweet. Okay. Ready? Walk yep. back. He just doesn't want to give up. 
right there, right there, right there. <laughs> they get bigger. Oh, me, yeah. they get bigger than this one. They, they do get bigger, yeah. All right, you ready? Oh, he got purple on him. Yeah, wow. he's flashing colors. Grab his bill. Yep. Pull him, pull him up, pull him up, pull him up. Walk up, walk him up from. Pull him up, pull him up. Woo! Tyreek Hill, baby. Fastest yeah. fish yes. defeated by the fastest. Woo! Tyreek. Yep. Pull him, pull him up, pull him up, pull him up. Walk up, walk him up from. Pull him up, pull him up. Woo! Tyreek Hill, baby. Fastest yeah. fish yes. defeated by the fastest athlete. All right, Junior, grab his bill. And, and just just just, just keep, keep him going, right? Until he starts biting you real good, okay? You're gonna hold him right where I'm holding him, okay? Now swim with him, swim with him, swim with him. Yo, dude, dude. That that that's sweet. the fastest fish in the ocean, bro. You freaking did it, So dude. I'm so proud of you. All by yourself. Oh. He's good. Drew just released him. Swam away strong. Woo! Job well done. I think we'd make a good trio. Get in. No. no. Where? Gigantic, right underneath it. No. Take a look. Gigantic, Polestar. Where? Uh -huh. Look, right underneath it. Gigantic. <laughs> Bull <laughs> Are you serious? I swear to you. Drew, boy, you made it just in time. Huh? Oh, my. It was a massive shark. What, what did you see? Huge head. You saw a huge head? Was it black head? Brownish. Brownish? It, it, it was so thick, man. It looked like a car down there. No way. Be yeah. a car. That's a you underneath the boat? Underneath the boat. So he was hanging. He wanted to eat the sailfish. 100%. Holy moly. All right, Drew. I know you like jumping in the water with all these fish, Dude, bro, but I'm telling you, it's some you. gnarly stuff out here, bro. Different... It's the freaking jungle out here, dude. I learned a valuable lesson. I thought you were pulling our leg, bro. I, I, I thought, oh, dude, he's, 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 shark he's trying to get a reaction to with. it. I've swam with bull sharks before. That one was at least 10 feet, and he was a goliath right underneath our boat. How big was his head? Like, wide? Yeah. No. No, no, no. no. It had to be like this. Really? Yeah. It wasn't a big dusky? No chance. Way different. It was a round head. It might have been a tiger. That was huge. We got Tyree two really fast fish. We got we got a sailfish and we got a bonito, which is in the tuna family, which is one of the fastest fish in the ocean. So I know you want to eat some food tonight, bro. You want some fresh fish. So we're going to go and try to do some bottom fishing, see if we can slay some snappers. Let's Maybe do get it. a nice snowy grouper. Let's do it. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. There we go. Come here, Tyreek. Oh, he's a big well, one, baby! Hey, you're gonna pull this. Is, I think you, see, dude, you got something good on here, bro. Oh, he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running. He's running. Woo! This was the final drop of the day. Like, we tried two more drops. Oh, he's pulling. And, oh, he's, he's real, bro. He's a real one. And, you know, we wanted to find Tyreek something to eat. We dropped down a goggle eye in 300 feet of water, marked some fish, went over the wreck, and just whack! It hit it, and, I mean, this is a real one. No, this is a real one, bro. You can feel it. You feel the fish. Yeah, 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 you got it down, bro. Yeah. I know this thing's strong. Real, 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 real. No, Gary. What do you guys call it? Amberjack. Oh, Guggen. Guggen. Guggen or a Jerry? You got this, right? I'm chilling. Because he's not running it at all. Yeah, but you want to get him in because if, if it's a really good eating fish, so the better the fish tastes, the more the, the more the sharks want to eat it. Oh. Yeah. Sure. So you got to get it in before the sharks eat it. Yeah, yeah, we're, 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 we're. Oh, we're at the mono. Oh, man, we're killing it now. Are we close? We're getting close now, bro. Blue, blue line. You know what? I'm, I'm going to call it. You ready? I'm going to say it's, a, I'm gonna say it's an Almaco Jack, not an Amber Jack. Okay? Which is a good, a better eating fish. Albacore? It's been a definite workout. I see him. I see him, bro. I see him. There he is. He's right there. He's right there. See him down there? I think it's an, I, I think it's an Almaco. It's a big fish. Yeah. Big freaking Almaco, dude. Big Almaco. Yeah, very good eating. That's the biggest Almaco we've ever caught here. That's a giant, dude. Oh, baby. Let me get a picture of that, dude. That is, that's a, that's the biggest Almaco we've ever caught, bro. Ever. Hey, okay, hold on. We just caught you dinner. I'm going to play it. You're going to take it home to your family. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the, the hamburger place that I was wanting to go to the whole time when I was going through cancer and had all the surgeries. Yeah. It's the best burger of your life, bro. It's going to be epic. Are you hungry? I am very hungry, but I don't know about the best burger part because my grandma makes some of the bombest burgers for me. What? Oh, dang, listen. dude. Oh, dang. All right, listen. Filet the fish. Go eat some food. <laughs> I bet you he's 25 pounds, bro. 25 pounds? Oh, yeah. He's big, bro. Oh, he's 25 pounds all day, bro. 
Let's go, bro. We're going to cut them up right now. So I always like to start right here, okay. the knife in, right and then just glide it along. If you want to try to catch one, you want to? You're gnarly, bro. You're ready. I already know. Like, I did this before, and, like, he just took me up on the... Oh, they got them. They ready. And gone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this one the same way. They they're snap. strong, bro. They're they that strong. They're that strong, dude. <laughs> this, they, they'll do this <laughs> one the same way. You knew that the I knew it. I knew it, bro. And gone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this one the same way. They're snap. strong, bro. They that strong. They're that strong, dude. <laughs> They'll do this one the same way. You knew that the whole time. I knew it. I knew it, bro. Man, that's, a, that's a waste of my time. <laughs> we played the fish. We're back to the dock, and we got the storm of the century headed straight for us. So, we've got seconds here, but we got one of our new hats here. I got Miami Dolphin color, or I got Mahi color. Which one you like? Hands up, baby, all day. Yeah, dude. And I got this for you too, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yo, thank thanks you for coming out, bro. Tyree Kill, guys, go check him out. It's Instagram. Oh, boy. Tyree Kill, fast fish. Fast man, fast fish. Flight making the best juicy work. Can Flight cook? Because I see Crispy is. Southern project. Does this nigga really cook? Flight. All right. <laughs> Flight. This nigga cook, bro. True. FTC. Flight team stand up. Today, Chef Reacts is back in the So Fresh and So Clean Clean kitchen. We are making my favorite food of all time and right now, a cheeseburger. Come follow me right here. Starting off with the ground beef. You know, get your ground red meat beef. I like to go 90, 10%. For some reason, I don't know. It's just like, it's something about that number percentage combination. I just like the, but I've had the. I don't even think this nigga know what the fuck that means. Something about this ratio makes sense, yeah. You know, the fuck you talking about? 80-15. I've had the 80-20. Really tastes the same. Not too much. Of Anybody in the comments can let me know, though. I am curious what is the difference and why they call them, like, 90-10. I knew and then 85-15 and everything like that. Very, very curious to notice. But if you do not uh, get a 90-10, don't think it's the end of the world. 85-15, 80-20 is going to do it. I keep it in the 80s. So I know there's, like, 70s and love. Like, I keep it there. Any bacon, it don't matter. Um, mushrooms, I promise y'all, these mushrooms are not going to have y'all seeing things. I promise, I promise. All right, so they're just regular mushrooms, uh, cooking mushrooms. All right, two tomatoes, or you can have as many tomatoes as you want. All right, you need these eggs. Get your bowl, you got your condiments, I got the pickles, you know what I'm saying? You got your barbecue, any barbecue sauce. This is the extra secret sauce that I like to use. Styles now, and I'll explain more into depth on how I came up with certain creations too right. as I get through along the video. FYI, gonna have your ketchup, of course. I'm not a big mustard fan, so if you're wondering why certain condiments ain't here, that's why. Uh, my favorite cheese. Once you get this hamburger bun right here, you can find them any grocery market you have. And it's usually in the bakery bread section. FYI, bro, I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Y'all ever taste a smash burger or like a Shake Shack type of burger? And then you need your seasonings, of course. So did nigga say brochet or, or brioche? Brochet, brioche. I don't know. Butter powder, salt. This is my favorite one right here. I like to use apple. I just started using this about six months ago. Uh, bro, you're not gonna be disappointed. Please get this seasoning. Apple would usually use for ribs. I don't. But know. bro. Y'all not going to be disappointed. You're welcome. And one more thing, guys. You're going to need some lettuce. I don't have it out here. I forgot to take it out the fridge, but i show it at the end of the video. But get some lettuce. All right. Uh, you got to have your uh, parsley flakes, of course, uh, black pepper, and I said onion powder, right? What you need parsley flakes for? 
What are you putting carbs in? I am not a fan of actual raw onions. That's why you don't see no onions here. There's no onions here. There's not to be no onions anywhere near a cheeseburger that I eat. Last but not least, uh, I'm gonna use an actual regular frying pan for the mushrooms and the bacon. And then when I'm cooking the burgers and the bacon, cast iron skillet. And yes, y'all little food critic uh, health inspectors, um, this is clean. All right, I passed. Do not give me a D plus. This pan is clean. This is what happens when the pan, after you clean it with water or whatever like that, it dries up. It is clean. This is not just found in the back of under the uh, oven. All right, relax. All right, y'all. It is literally almost 1 a.m. and it's gonna be my first time about to eat all day. So I'm trying to dive right in. All right, so we're not gonna waste no more time. First thing I like to do is go ahead and just rip that ground beef off. Rip that meat package open. I keep it about one egg each meat package. Holy, getting the egg stuff in there. You don't want to do that. All right, y'all, seasoning time. You want to go ahead and put a little salt. Go ahead and put some of that applewood rub up in there. Don't even trip. We don't go crazy with the seasoning because remember, we got two different uh, meat uh, ground beef packages. And Hold on. So that could be wrong. Do most people whisk the egg before they put it with the beef, or they just crack the egg and put it in the? I don't know. In there. All right. So don't be afraid to add that seasoning in that bill. You know what I'm saying? If you can't smell it or you barely season it, as some will say, it ain't enough. All right. I have to kind of. Oh man, I may have been just a little too much. Nah, we good. We good. We good. There's nothing wrong with parsley flakes. They don't really taste like nothing. They just kind of look nice. Got the onion powder in there. Don't be afraid to season, y'all. All right. Get the black pepper. I'm going to bring the camera up closer in a second, y'all. I'm glad that I got a, um, a clear bowl. I used a garlic powder earlier, huh? Yeah, I definitely did. I can see the color in it. All right. All right. So come here. All right, so what you gonna do next? Just mix it up. Make sure your hands are washed. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands again so I can get it all up in there in that meat. All right, y'all, here is the fun part. <laughs> it's time to mix up everything. Let's get it. Childish. All right, make sure you get in the egg. Now, honestly, you're supposed to like um, whisk the egg, like you're making an egg, actually like a um, like a scrambled egg or something like that. But this works too with your fingers and everything. It's just fine. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to show y'all, you know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to get up in there because what you're doing, you're mixing all those good old seasonings and then the egg all up in there. Now, what the egg is going to do is basically going to hold the burger up a little bit better. It's going to give it a little bit of a different taste. Not too much of a crazy taste, but it's going to give it a little bit. I want to say like maybe like a maybe like a more a juicier milky taste versus just like a you know, if you had a burger that's just not as juicy and it's just missing like that extra like grease into it, it basically just gives it that. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I like to do this for about two Little minutes. Mess. Guys, I'm sorry. I forgot my like, I don't know where my chef hat is. I lost it somewhere. I grew some legs and walked away. You know what I'm saying? So I know we have minus 20 attributes without the chef hat, but don't get it twisted. We still don't turn up. We still turning up in this bit. Don't even get it twisted. All right. So, you know what I'm saying? A little bit more. All right, my friends, it is all done. All we got to do is just make it into patties. So that is exactly what the patties is supposed to look like when they are all set and ready to be. Put on the either grill or cast iron skillet or however you make them. I wanted to just skip past the boring part for y'all, but the patties, I try to make them similar to how like a, you know, a smash burger looks like. I like my burgers like kind of like medium thin. I don't like it like a too huge, you know what I'm saying, big chunk and everything like that. Let you get the little, you know what I'm saying, the good old angles like that. You can see the season. I can smell it from five miles away, no bullshit. I like the confidence this nigga got. This nigga got a lot of confidence in himself. I like it. Smell that, boy. See, you need space to separate so they can all just be cooked evenly. And when you stuff that shit like that. Mm. Alright, y'all. So I added my olive oil and some um you see this? Sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know if I them too much. Look at this shit. All right. Hideous. 
a mess. All right, y'all, so I added my olive oil into my mushroom. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mix that around with the olive oil and let it sit here and cook and do its own thing for another, like, total is 10 minutes with the mushroom to take. You know what I'm saying? You can go 11, 12, however you want them. You know what I'm saying? I don't like them too soft, but I also don't want them too hard. All right. And then the burgers, this is the first batch of burgers. The burgers, you know what I'm saying? Um, not too bad. Hey, you're not going to get a perfect round shape of burger. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, don't ever judge a book by its cover because just because it look like it does not mean it's going to taste like All right, so, like, hey. All right, y'all, so here is how everything's coming together. This is the last batch of burgers here. And the last batch, I usually make the freshest with cheese, and I have another batch just without cheese and everything like that. So I can save for another time. But, hey, man, I ain't going to lie, man. It's so tempting to just, like, pick one up right now. I got my mushrooms already all made. Um, and I got the bacon right here on the stove. Everything's almost coming together. I say in about seven, ten minutes, we ready to bust down. Everything is officially done, y'all. 25 minutes later, bam. Come on, man. This is like a mini cooker right now, man. We're going to put the burger together. And y'all going to see the masterpiece. And we're going to do the taste test. All right, y'all. Obviously, you start out with your bun. The good thing about these types of buns, too, you don't I have to upload a YouTube cooking video now. The fact that he uploaded this, how many of you, you niggas watch this? How many, how many of you niggas watch this? Look at this shit. 331,000 you motherfuckers watch this, bro. And this is how his burger came out. You know, it's like we've been putting in work for a long time. Lego cap. But this, this burger is a mess. I really got to put it on the actual uh, pan or grill or anything like that because it's already buttered, already has that type of a grill taste, all right? So that's why you actually didn't see me do it, y'all. So first, I'm going to pick the juiciest burger. I got to pick the juiciest one. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right up under there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Cheese look lovely. Delicious. That looks yeah. delicious. I'm going to keep everything warm. Put it back in here. Go ahead and turn that fan off. For a second, you know what I'm saying? I am not the best at cutting tomatoes. Do not laugh at me, y'all. But yeah, you gotta put that. You just you just cut it, nigga. You don't cut it at all. Just... Tomato on there. All right. I did not show this early on in the video, but you gotta have that lettuce on the burger. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have that lettuce on the burger. You know what I'm saying? Put some of them so fresh and so clean, clean mushrooms up on that bun. You know what I'm saying? Get your crispy applewood smoked bacon up in that bun. You know what I'm saying? Get all the pieces and everything like that. You got to have a pickle. Stop playing with yourself. Don't play with yourself, man. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. All right? You know what I'm saying? Put that pickle right up in that bun. Oh, man, my mouth is watering right now, man. Y'all understand me. Y'all even understand me, all right? You got to put that. Now, all the sauces and condiments... Put it on the bun. It's the easiest to put it on the bun. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning first, I did kind of, you know what I'm saying, mess up around there. But, hey, man, it ain't nothing too bad. I always like to put, you know what I'm saying, like a dime size of each on there. All right? This is the secret sauce. Wondering what they secret sauce is this entire time. It was a thousand islands. All right? You got your ketchup. A little bit of ketchup there. And then, well, uh, guys, hold on. Wow. Look this water. It's voila. This nigga ain't do not a fuck thing right. Then when it comes to the voila part, this nigga couldn't even say fucking wop or the way, man. I don't think you guys are seeing this, man. I don't think you guys are seeing this, man. I don't think you guys are seeing this, man. We see it. This, man. this is how you should pick up a burger. You know what I'm saying? If it's a little messy, there's nothing wrong. That means it's filled with all that. Five, four, three, two, one. Bro, this shit's so good, bro. I'm about to just turn off the camera right now, man. Y'all, man, spare me a uh, like button. Spare me the comments. What y'all want me to cook next up in this bed, bro? This is my favorite thing I've cooked, bro. I can't even believe I released this recipe, bro. I support it. I support it. The mushrooms, you know. 
Be a little light on the mushroom. I did not See like that? the way the nigga cut the tomato. It made me very upset. Made me a little upset. I like my burgers around medium well to well done. I don't want it too pink, but I also don't want it too like well done where it's hard and everything like that. Hey, man. The cheese carried that bit on no cow. Cause the, the ain't gonna lie, the, the patties look a little rough. Look a little rough, all right? Let's just say the condiment and the toppings and shit kind of like, you know. Kind of helped out a little bit. This nigga made fried chicken. Oh, this is a year ago. Ain't gonna trip. My boy probably developed a little bit more skills since last year. What the hell with that burger? It's crazy. What? Can you beat the beef champ? What the fuck? The hell else that's supposed to get? I completely forgot. That shit with Duke was kind of crazy. Is Black Beetle even good? I mean, not Black Beetle. I'm tripping. <laughs> Blue Beetle? Is that even good? Oh, yeah. Who is this? Patrick CC? Yeah, Patrick CC. Right. No. Logan Paul drama gets deeper. Drama. Drama, sorry. Oh, sorry. Guys, so a couple of days ago, we talked about Logan Paul's next boxing match. He recently announced that he'll be fighting Dylan Danis. Yes, it's Danis. I kept saying Danis last time. And ever since Logan... Because Danis is fucking better. Yeah. It sounds ...made better. this announcement. Dylan has been going on an absolute Twitter tirade where he's posting Logan's fiance with all these various men who she has allegedly been involved with over the years. And at first it was kind of just funny, okay? He had four or five pictures going on. But at this point, days have passed and the hits just keep on coming. It's like celebrity after celebrity after old man after various uncles of mine. And at this point, guys, I'm really just here to cover the additional carnage because I find this whole situation to be absolutely hilarious. I think for a while, Logan Paul really could kind of control the narrative surrounding his name. For a couple of years there, he was really building up his reputation. But now it really seems like this could all be Logan's third fall from grace. Of course, the first one happens in Japan. The next one was when Coffeezilla took him behind the barn to try and finish him off like old Yeller. And now Dylan Dennis might stick the fork in this man. So he returns to Twitter and says, Since you want to make bets and you're so confident you're going to knock me out, if I win... You have to make me the best man at your wedding. 
We need mm. to thank Nina for influencing Jamie Foxx to make one of the best hits of all time, Gold Digger. Here's a picture with her and white guy number 4,052. Here, Dylan says, let's get checked. Logan, as your best man, I advise you to take a kit from her and get checked, brother. And here you could see her doing some type of STD promotion with a dirty looking oh, individual. Oh. I mean, what were these two just doing? What's with all the white splatter right here on his hoodie? Oh. And the lore gets even deeper, guys. She's made various TV appearances where she said some rather suggestive things. Are there any foods that make either of you gag? Um... My gag reflex is pretty strong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have to say, it, okay. it'll take, it'll take. It'll okay. take <laughs> That's all you need to know. If your bitch been on TV, talk about some her gag reflex. <laughs> it's been a lot of dicks in that hole, boy. And I ain't even talking about the one between her legs. I'm talking about one that she told some. Oh, you look so beautiful. That mouth. That mouth. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. You went further. Right. Okay. We're talking about food. I don't even know where we're at right now. <laughs> what are you even okay. talking about? This bitch, you a throater. That's what we were talking about. Category right. I mean, she had my man on the boards pondering back to last night. He goes on to say Logan's gonna thank me one day. He got a lot of people saying what's the over under on this engagement actually going through. Next, she says KSI and Logan's prime company starred after their boxing match. And just like them, after our match, Logan and I are looking to launch a prenup app. Here he posts yet another picture of her. I believe that's with the guy from The Fault in Our Stars. It does seem like from the outside looking in over the course of the last decade or so, this woman is always with whatever celebrity is popping at that time. Like Logan, who the f*** even is this guy? And why does he look so comfortable holding her like that? If my girl has a picture with an old man like this, it's over. I mean, this is just getting crazy at this point, guys. Oh. Here he says he's working overtime. Okay, he's got the three KD phones right there. I mean, at this point, I have to think that this man has people out there scouting these pictures, looking through various Getty images. And for Logan Paul, the hits just keep coming. I mean, Logan, who even is this who guy? He went on the Nelk podcast and had some choice words for Logan. I just think that Logan has, and now seeing how he's taking this personal stuff, like his mind is not there. What, what have you heard from them on their end? The zone has put a little bit of a trap on me, but there's definitely trouble in paradise. I'm not going to lie. I was like going to praise him because like, you know, I'm all about like trans and like LGBTQ and everything. So I was going to be like, oh, it's awesome. He like has a fiance that's trans. So I thought she was. <laughs> and then I looked. Hell no. So I was going to be like, oh, it's awesome. He like has a fiance that's trans. So I thought she was. <laughs> and then I looked it up and it, and it was a girl. And then I started seeing all the stuff. So I was like, oh, she's, shit. she's gorgeous though. He did as. Oh my God. That is his words, not mine, YouTube. Do you yeah, feel bad for her? Real. Do you think it's like, like, how do you think it's affecting her? Jake did this to me. I don't know if you remember when me and him were going to fight when he was saying that he was going out my girl. He was saying he heard this whole thing. So like, it's a double-edged sword. Like, you can't talk all that shit and not be able to take it. That's the worst kind of person. And I actually think this guy so far is doing a great job of actually selling this fight. Because before he started going on this tirade, I really had no idea who he was. I mean, you would hear his name in passing every once in a while. But I promise you all of this is making much more people care about this fight. Like Logan, it now becomes different than just defending your own boxing prowess. Now this is about defending your girl, defending your fiance, defending your future wife. Like if you're Logan, how do you even respond to all of this? Knowing him, he's probably just having a mental breakdown right now. I mean, we all saw how he responded when his ego was damaged by CoffeeZilla at the beginning of the year. And you have to imagine this has all been a way bigger hit to the ego than being called a scammer. Like, who are all these people and why do they have so much access to her? I mean, at this point, yeah. it's just getting ridiculous, guys. Here she is posted up with the ghost of Woody Allen. He says this is Logan right now fighting for his marriage. Like, what That's the funny. fuck is even going on at this point? How do they have a clip of you in a wedding dress? How the fuck is you be like CGI, like some AI shit like this. Why is she playing basketball in a swimsuit? And at this point, this guy is pretty much just giving him the Adam-22 treatment. I mean, it's getting insane, guys. I can't even show you guys the gifs. This woman's tatas are out. Here she is at the sugar factory with Nick Cannon. Just a little side note. Did anyone else, like, never get the concept for this? 
I hear that when you go here, you spend an arm and a leg. And I have to say, sugar as an adult is one of the most overrated things of all time. Hey, that's not Logan. That's Brogan right there. What the f Oh, now even interdimensional beings are getting in on the action? I mean, we already covered those aliens from last video, but this is kind of a different story. And now it's just directly calling him out, saying, you're going to fight back, Logan? Not fun when the bully gets bullied, is it? Then he says, all your real friends you bullied out of your life. The only person you have left is Yes Man Mike, who just stays around for the cloud. I believe that's absolutely true. Then he says, Logan made all his ex-friends sign NDAs, something that George Janko has loosely talked about recently. He says he did so, so they wouldn't speak about apparently what happened. And then he says the same ones Jake Paul made James Charles sign. Now, I don't even know what's going on there between, you know, Jake Paul and James Charles, but hey, that would be some breaking on. news. He says at this point, I think Jake is rooting for me. You won your fight against Nate Diaz and everybody's cheering and, and Logan's sitting there. He looks like a super villain. I, like this, once again, this, this feels <laughs> weird because we go back to Puerto Rico and we see Logan every day. This, this Like, I don't know, bro, but like, did, did you see that? that Damn, sure Logan's the, the fake. Logan yeah, I, didn't, I, didn't, I just, I didn't think it was real. He said Logan was happy for his brother. He's an egomaniac. But it's like, it seems fake, but it's not. There's yes. like a video of it too. And I just don't get it. I, don't, I just can't believe it. I don't know. It's, it's, just, it's weird. It's weird. Too. It's really weird. Because even in private, like you speak so high, highly of like what you guys, like what you want you guys to do and, and your plans and like even just exciting things that you want them to be a part of. Like when you talk about like your ranch, you're like, oh, me and Logan this, me and Logan that, like everything, you involve him in every single thing thing you can possibly i think the reason i've created like our brotherhood and like having these friends around us because i yearn for it and oh, logan even said it what that's a mic drop right there he said you know i have a brother but he never gave me that brotherhood i mean i won't lie oh hold, hold on because that's that's deep as a bitch and I know it's a lot of brothers out there that go through that. That's that's deep. I didn't think about that. To you guys, at this point, I would much rather have the career of Jake Paul than Logan Paul. I mean, right. I feel like Jake, he can make light of things. He can kind of take it on the chin when someone kind of tests his ego. And on the other hand, Logan just gives me more like sociopath vibes. And I do think that Logan can be envious of Jake's career because at this point he has accomplished all this stuff in boxing and not just business like Logan has. And he's just kind of carved out his own lane away from more or less just being an influencer. I mean, when you can't feel happy for your own flesh and blood and their accomplishments, what does that really say about you? Like I saw this clip where he was so mad at Jake Paul because during his last fight with Nate Diaz, he would not let Logan bring in this bottle of Prime for his shameless advertisement he's constantly trying to do. And his reason for this absolutely made sense. One of his main sponsors and one of the main sponsors for the event was also a beverage company. So why would they want Prime around? It would be like an event being sponsored by Netflix and someone wants to come around advertising with their Hulu shirt. Like, it's just not gonna fly. Oh my god, there she is with Ezra Miller, whatever the f that creep's name is. Not the oh, Flash, the, the flash man. Not the Flash. He says, this guy's built like my refrigerator. She's there holding his hand. Oh, yeah, another man. guy. Okay, I mean, it's just getting insane. How <laughs> he says, I wonder whose 40th birthday it was. And I can't even show you guys the rest of this image because all she has on is uh two party hats like the one she's wearing on her head the one pikachu wears and that's all she has one on each tata celebrating the big 40 i guess she came out of the cake and logan's only response to this yesterday was to say i made sure the backup fighter will be there in case dylan doesn't show up to this press conference i mean is that all you can run with at this point that he has flaked out in a couple of his last fights just within the burn atmosphere i would say logan is getting absolutely dismantled i mean this stuff is crazy guys Oh, not Tommy Lee. It's like that one song. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. Like at this point, she's not for the street. She's for the whole species. Like Logan. Who the f*** is this, dude? He then says, Logan Paul has reported me for targeted harassment on this platform. He's trying to get my account banned. I really can't believe this guy is the biggest guy I've ever seen. He can't make this stuff up. I mean, I won't lie. Logan does seem like the type of guy to try and silence any sort of criticism that's been levied against him i know when anyone within his uh 
Twitter comments says anything about CryptoZoo at this point. It's just an immediate block. He then goes on to say, everything's public, my G. Not my fault your girl got ran through. You got a problem? Handle it. October 14th, live on pay-per-view. And yeah, this can you get, really get mad at someone for just posting? This shit get nuts, boy. This, this shit get bad, man. It's getting bad. Posting up pictures that are readily available to the public. It's the same thing that I think when people get mad about my videos. I'm like, these are all things that people willingly chose to post themselves. I'm just putting it on display. I'm just mashing it up into one video. I mean, this is crazy, guys. She's out here posting with humans that don't even look like they're real, okay? This guy looks like AI. And her bikini is made of nothing but whipped cream. I mean, I don't even know what to say at this point. Here she is with that man Riff Raff. Just another creepy old man. I'd rather be, like, naked in front of, like, 100 people than, like, act right now. <laughs> another random white man. Another random white man. <laughs> and even that man Bill Nye got in on the action. I sucked a dick in a football stadium full of people once. <laughs> How does this stuff even exist? And this is pretty funny. This person says this girl has had anxiety issues. I mean, she just admitted that she sucked in a very public football game. And here is this guy publicly harassing her online. Is the law so feeble to let someone like Dylan go overboard like this? Does this not deserve to be canceled? Like this guy is just posting up already readily available oh. public images, public information, public interviews, and you're going to be upset with him? I mean, there's people out here that literally want someone to go to jail for trolling on Twitter. But yeah, guys, for now, this really does all just seem like the never-ending nightmare of Logan Paul. This is practically naked around probably like one percenters. Probably get, you know, decayed on and all of that. I don't even think it's, what is it called? I don't even know the right word. Y'all let me know what you guys think about all this information down below. Will Logan ever recover from this? Will the engagement go through? Will he recover? So this morning I woke up and I felt almost like a kid on Christmas morning because I knew this press conference right here would be going down and that it would provide for some very interesting insights into this fight coming up between this Twitter troll and this scammer, Logan Paul. Yes, I know KSI and Tommy Fury will also be facing off that night, but I feel like due to Dylan Dennis' recent online work, that fight has really taken the back burner to Logan Paul versus Dylan, and I would think the majority of the people will be tuning in to watch that. So right off the bat, Logan and Dylan were supposed to have some sort of face-off. And apparently Dylan was late, so Logan Paul started chirping him on Instagram. I, I, I'm, I'm a log off, guys. This is this is boring. I just came out here to let you guys know that this dude is a real, real life online troll. He's great. He's great. We get it. We like him on Twitter. He's, he's funny. He makes funny jokes and shit. But when it comes to real life and actually fighting, Dylan Dennis does not show the fuck up. And that shows you exactly who he is. Talk to he you. knows what the outcome is going to be. When it comes to real life, he's not ready for it. 1,530 days. That's how long it's been since Dylan last fought. And so... He, he gonna be good in, in uh, WWE. I can tell you that. So it seems like that's gonna be Logan's main line throughout this entire thing. Is that Dylan is basically a scaredy cat who's always running when it's actually time to fight. And as you guys will see from the press conference here in a little bit, Dylan's main attack is still going to be on Logan Paul's wife. Right here, the banter continues as Logan Paul discusses the situation with KSI on Instagram Live. Dylan has locked himself in his room and refuses to come down. Really? The little hermit. <laughs> the little hermit. He's the little hermit. Oh, my oh. God. All this talk on Twelve. All this talk on his stories Instagram, but then in real life, scared. JJ, I think he's... I think he's shitting himself. But, oh my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. When he sees us, bro, he's going to be terrified. He's going to be mumbling all over the place, bro. Yeah, but we just need him to show up. Yeah. It's like, step one, show the f*** up. Facts. And it's interesting to me how these two went from despising each other, pretty much being arch rivals, to genuinely seeming like they're best friends through this business partnership. Here, Logan just continues via Instagram saying Dylan locked himself in his room and refused to come out for our face to face. I had to shame him into showing up. This loser absolutely melted in person. Listening to him stumble through every sense was painful. Can't wait for y'all to see the real Zodanus. LOL, LOL. 
and nothing that interesting happened during their face off. All the juicy stuff kind of came in when they all got together. Logan Paul, KSI, Tommy Fury, Dylan Dennis, Tommy Fury's father. Well, I guess there was this moment from the face off. Yeah, go and try it. Yeah, try. <laughs> See what happens. You'll You'll on this thing. And then it was time for the actual press conference. And this is how this man, Dylan, arrived. <laughs> so just trolling from the start with the infamous Logan Paul hat. It's a good troll. It's a very good troll. This was kind of Logan's first shot at Dylan. <laughs> yeah, Dylan Dan is the real fighter who got choked out by a bouncer in a club. Your girl got oh, by 75 yeah, guys before he married her. Shut the f up. Uh, apologies. Apologies where's for the Nina? language. Oh, Yo, where's my Nina? Personal security. Yo, where's your fiance? I found the bouncer. Where's your fiance? After Oh, like, yes, it is a good burn, but come on, let's not beat it to death. And apparently today is actually Dylan's birthday. And so Logan brought out this cake for him. Happy birthday, dear Dylan. Yo. <laughs> guys, guys, wait, wait. I like it, guys. It's great entertainment. Of course, KSI is in there sucking him off. While y'all do that, can we get a zoom in on the cake? And I love how during these press conferences, these people are always like standing up and standing down and like doing the oh, hold me back type of thing. And it's also hilarious to me how Tommy Fury's been involved with all this influencer boxing because the man can clearly actually fight and he's not really interested in talking shit. So he's kind of just there. And then here Logan really starts defending his girl, talking about how she's a superstar while Dylan's a broke boy. Dylan, 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 run your mouth all you want. 75 bodies, but you know, bodies, but you know damn well you more. ain't ever been with any girl as beautiful as my girl. Yeah, okay. My lovely Every Beyonce, single guy in New York is who I love so <laughs> much. My superstar whose apartment costs more than your entire net yeah, worth. Yeah, because they're in order to capture bro. Ooh. Ass talking about. bitch. Bro, bro, bro. You've what? resorted to attacking a woman as your fight tactic? No wonder you friends with Tommy this that one in the mayor last night to me he's a very performative person and i wouldn't be surprised if he's like literally in the mayor constantly practicing his lines where's coach mcgregor and why but no nah, that's a fact though like i said like he'd be really great at wwe um i don't believe that this is necessarily like his you know his thing but you know we'll see how it goes we'll see how last how long this lasts you know what i'm saying why won't he take, my, worry, bet? He'll smack Why won't he take my million dollar bet? Why won't you pay back to people from Crypto Zoo? Ooh. I'm working on it, Dylan. I'm rid of this. <laughs> he said, I'm working on it, Dylan. I'm working on it. As he flies in on his private jet. And right here, Logan had made a comment about how Jake had apparently slept with Dylan's ex-girlfriend while they were still dating. And this was Dylan's response to that. You don't gotta take that shit out on me because my brother hooked up with your ex. <laughs> At least I got rid of this. You're marrying one. Ooh. Dilly, dilly, dilly. I'm going to take it. <laughs> and then things started getting really crazy when Logan started bringing up the idea that in the past, Dylan's mom was selling her body for money. He even alluded to the idea that his dad had apparently hooked up with his ex-girlfriend. And in response to this, Dylan talked about leaking some picture that could apparently destroy Logan Paul's entire marriage and career. And this is when Tommy Fury's father, John, steps in to kind of save the day and is like, hey, all these outside people just need to be off limits. He starts flipping shit. And this is pretty much the end of the press conference. Honestly, this part right here just to me looks extremely fake it looks honestly like it was possibly orchestrated before the fight i hate it i when hate it already formative the things that adam 22 was willing to orchestrate for the continuation of clout and i wouldn't necessarily put it beyond logan to use his fiance as a pawn in his game that cake that logan had made of dylan knocked out he took the head off of it and threw it at him <laughs> Hold me back. Hold me back. Logan's over here juiced to the gills looking like 1999 Jose Canseco. And you gotta love this man, Gideon. Escaping with the Dylan Danis cake. How does this man always find himself in the mix? I do not know. And after the press conference, even Gideon got into it with Logan Paul. Okay, anyone out here can get the smoke, apparently.
How my two face? How my two face, Logan? Ooh. I, I wasn't. I wasn't the one laughing when Jake was making fun of me. I wasn't the one laughing when Jake was making fun of me. Make one comment to ask you, corny ass to switch seats so I can enjoy my day. That has nothing to do with it. It's what you did with Jake. That's all it has to do. It's well, what I'm you did with Jake. My brother. I defended my brother. You but why were you defending with KSI? Bro, he's my business partner. Okay, okay, business. okay. Obviously, okay. Hey, I swear your loyalty Yo, you lies. Mad, you mad two faced. No, I'm not two faced. I'm, I'm real when it nah, needs to nah, be real. Nah. And you don't deserve to be real to. Yeah, right, bro. You're you don't deserve to be real to. Hey, hey, you got another fight. You got a whole another fight to worry about. Yeah, you Hey, I, I, I was keeping the jokes. I was keeping the jokes. I was keeping the jokes. Please leave. You're the one that called me. Yo, please leave. Hey, hey, hey. Please. please. Say less. Please. please. Hey, say less, Logan. Hey, good luck with your fight, Logan. And I want to know right now in the comments, what do you guys think is going to happen in this fight? Honestly, Logan looks juiced to the gills. Well, this other guy kind of just looks like a normal pedestrian. I mean, I know size doesn't necessarily matter in a fight. But I honestly have a feeling that this guy might get washed by Logan Paul. And here's just a little bonus clip for you guys where the man himself, Adam22, comes out to defend Logan Paul. Dylan's been going on a little bit of a campaign trying to embarrass Logan by pointing out all the guys that his now fiance. Don't nobody want to hear this, nigga, dog. Don't nobody want to hear this, man, bro. Your bitch got a pipe. She can't hold us talk about some, oh, just because I have a bigger dick, that doesn't mean I won't fill yours. Get out of here. Stop. They have spent time with before Logan. Uh, Dylan, this is one of the goats. If his girl has actually spent time and the woman has spent time with <laughs> before you get her. You want the king cut coming to bat for them? And I guess in the final attempt to troll, Logan actually set up this website where it shows how many days it's been uh since dylan's last fight either way guys we're gonna see what happens in this situation but overall pretty entertaining press conference y'all let me know who you guys think is gonna win this fight down below y'all make sure you subscribe as i continue to update you on this whole situation but as you guys know it's been your boy the tan superman and some other boxing beef out he needs to be covered so i'm out that's crazy man hopefully nothing else happened with that boy logan paul but <sighs> You know what, fam? I appreciate y'all for chilling with Kungo Dog. Been another live. Peace and love.